I'm so happy. Like, go hair, go color number four, go hair, go color number four. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. company website called ebonyline.com i thought i would pick out this one it looks really full on like videos on youtube i have got my scissors in hand because if i have to cut some tracks off for this bad boy then i'm definitely going to do that so the wig is called checks and it is by the zuri brand and this is their natural star the color that i got is a number four she's a very full natural looking unit she's a lace front it does come with baby hairs it has a centered hand tied part and it is heat friendly so this is Okay, you guys, so this is the parting in this lace front wig. It's a lot of parting, you know what I'm saying? You do get the combs in the front right here, which is right by the part, which is not one of my favorite. A comb and adjustable strap in the nape area. So we're about to do this. I do apologize for the difference in the color of the video. You know, I, I'm just like ready to just say, oh, we're doing the videos during the daytime. You know what I'm saying? I don't think spring is like one of my best moments. So this is a lot of hair, like seriously, a lot of hair. So I'm about to take this off like serious, and I'm just going to cut some of the tracks off of it because you know I don't really have much of a neck and that wig will swallow me whole like you know what I'm saying I will be eating up alive in this wig not to mention I probably will sweat to death pass out on the curb somewhere and people will probably walk all over me see my nice hair and think it was bundles and try to rip it off my head and then they get away with my my synthetic lace front so you know hey <laughs> so I'm gonna take this guy to be um, styling mousse and I'm going to try to tame the hair some because I like it big but not this big like this is Shaka Khan hair like or Diana Ross whatever her girl if you have like a nice amount of neck room then get this wig plus let me tell you if you have like a bigger than average size head then this will definitely fit you because Zuri always gives like a nice size cap and did you guys see those wispy hairs like they put them there for you to see of course I'm not going to keep them that long so I did like you know cut some of them down a little bit because that's just too many baby hairs for your girl I will be cutting them down but I did need to make my sideburns and I'm just going to take some of this styling mousse and I'm going to attempt to use the styling mousse but not everything works with synthetic wigs so I'm going to go and use the got to be messy fying putty because you know not everything works with synthetic hairs I will tell you got to be gel will definitely work with any type of synthetic wigs if you're trying to slick it down hold it down and the hairspray too so I'm just going to press it down and try to kind of like tame the front edges a little bit you know cut these wispy hairs because these are awful long I'm just not really into them that big and you do see the color change so once again I do apologize I don't know it has to do with the clouds and stuff seems like springtime is not the best time for me especially to record videos during the daytime so I may have to switch it up a little bit though I do like to do my videos in the day because you know it just gives me my entire rest of the day to do other things and work so as you guys see I'm just going to put some more of that mesmifying I think that's what it's called putty by got to be and I'm going to just take my edge control brush and just swoop it a little bit the hair is super thick it's a lot of hair so I mean if you have patience then you could definitely find other things to do with it like I mean not other things but other styling options me for this particular video I'm just going to take it and put two cornrows in the front because girl I can't be too hot I'm telling you guys I wear the patch you know what I'm saying I can't be too hot I get hot flashes I probably done passed out like no lie but being that it's kinky hair and is synthetic please be patient when trying to do cornrows in it because you will notice that it will get a little bit tangly and that is just because you know it's synthetic but I mean hey it is a nice wig I would try to put this up in a bun, but I don't think that it will work out for me. My arms would probably get tired. But anyway, Ebony Line. So they have like a bunch of wigs on their website, like serious. And you know, you can follow them on their social media too. I'll definitely link it below for you guys so that way you can follow them. You know, we do work time to time and stuff like that. Now it looks really cute with the two braids, but I decided to take one out because I just wanted to see how it looked. And I'm going to take my face powder. I'm going to rub it into the part because, you know, I'm trying to 
to get it looking as natural as possible. You know, I want to try to hook it up, hunties. Like, hook it up, okay? And, yeah, nothing in particular. It's very full and, you know, cute. It looks very natural. I think it's probably, like, about 22 inches, if I'm correct. Now, being that I did one braid on one side and I removed the other one, I decided to change my mind up a little bit, and then I went ahead and just rebraided again. So, you know, I'm really undecided a lot of the times. I don't know what's good or not, but I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. Guys, okay, okay. This is a lot of hair. Like, serious. This is, like, the the maximum blowout, okay? And this number four is like the exact match of my hair color. So I'm like really happy about that. I had to cut off like massive hair and it still is a lot of hair. Like I don't, I don't even know what to do, but you know, like if you have patience, then you could probably put it up in a bun. I'm just saying that's on you guys, but it's a lot of hair, but it's a natural, pretty color hair. It looks realistic. It looks natural. They even gave you all these nice little baby hairs. I was like, okay, baby hairs come through, wispy hairs, whatever you want to call them. But you know, they worked out good. They do kind of like work out, but the one thing I do like about this wig is where the wispy hairs are at or where the baby hairs is at. You can see the part indentions, so you can definitely separate them with no problem from the actual hair back here to the baby hair. You can definitely part them, and you'll be able to see the lace through it. But you will have to customize the lace, like put you some foundation on. Let me tell y'all something. If you ain't got no neck, girl, you best to make you a neck. For real, because this is so much hair. Y'all know I don't be having, like, I don't really have that much neck. Like, seriously, I don't even have that much neck. So it was kind of, like, swallowing me up. So that's why I don't really like to do too much big, poofy hair because... I don't have a neck. This one is cute. Like, I like it like this because it's just more relaxing. Like, it's not all over the place. You will definitely have to customize this to your liking. Like, I mean, if you like a lot of Shaka Connors, this should have been called Shaka. The heck with checks. Shaka is what her name should have been. But Ebony Line, they could be having, like, a bunch of wigs on their website. They they do have, a, like, a nice variety of wigs on their website. Synthetic wigs are really versatile. They're affordable. You know what I mean? You can do what you want with them. And then when you're done with them, you can throw them out without any guilt. And I like the fact that Zuri is coming out with all these different type of textures. Wigs in general, come on, let's do what it do. Like, I've never cut the tracks off of any wig before, okay? That would be, like... <sighs> That would be like the end of the world for me. Like you would see that music play, dun, 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 and then you have, like, you don't do that. But in my world today, we're going to do that just for the sake to see how much it tamed it down. It really didn't tame it down that much. You know what I'm saying? You may have to take off a little bit more here. Just make sure that, you know, be leery. Don't cut all the way up to here by the lace because then if you do, you, you know, you're like, screw it. Girl, this thing was big right out the box. It was huge. Have patience, honey, because this is a lot of hair. Now, this would definitely look cute in a low pony. Oh, child, I might have to start to keep this on right now. You know, just something like a really low, low ponytail. I might just have to do that. I love you guys. I'll see you in a soon to come video. Make sure you check out Ebony Line in the description box below for all the videos, information, you know. And on that um, cue, I got to go. And I will see you guys in another video. Wow. Let the little body do.